That was kind of a weak clap. Yeah, yeah. That was a weak fucking <laughs> beta clap. Big old beta bitch clap. <laughs> Ooh, that was manly. There we go. Two casuals in a pod. We're back. Second episode. Luke and Aaron. Uh, I think we have a lot to talk about this oh week. I don't know, man. It's been a lot. God, I, all my friends were like, you're starting an NBA podcast. What are you going to talk yeah. about? <laughs> They're just feeding us stories every fucking week. Are we going to follow this and your music page on SoundCloud? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I, definitely not the SoundCloud page, but we're working on it. <laughs> Uh, finger guns are out. I mean, they're very useful nowadays in, in NBA talk. Yeah, it's really good for the algorithm to show our guns up top, like John, John Morant up here. Show well, him. John Morant's logo. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about John Morant, yeah, obviously. We got we're a lot of everything. Touch. I mean, uh, I mean, what have you been up to recently? I just fucking working. Uh, just we just had Ralph Barbosa here at the comedy club. He, yes. he had a great shout show. out a more popular guy than us. Brad Brad Williams, that short king. He really killed it. Yes. Uh, who else? Uh, yeah, just work. I know. We're in the Louisville Comedy Club yeah. green room Louisville again. Comedy Club. But None of you other make, open micers are allowed to do this. Don't even ask. Make no mistake. We're not working comics. As you can tell no, if you listen no, to the whole no. episode. We are <laughs> ultimate posers. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're basically the John ja Morants of working comics. <laughs> <laughs> as he is the hood. <laughs> it's like we're kind of just faking it. We, po- hoping we, we, get the we post pictures of ourselves doing open mics. And, yeah. and our grandma is like, wow, you're a comedian. Yeah, that's that's yeah. where we get our dopamine. Yeah. Jaws' grandma's like, wow, you're a gay. Well, it's crazy. I mean, I mean, John Moran, he's chill. I post like three John Moran clips. It was just hilarious to milk it. Oh, he's yeah. finally calmed down now. Now we have uh, 53 year old Sean Kemp. Yes. Was arrested in a drive by The rain man making it rain bullets. Yeah, the the rain yes. man, actually. Is yeah, the, how the, you refer to him? The rain man. Uh, no, yeah, he was making it rain in my old neighborhood, Tacoma, Washington, at the Tacoma Mall. Uh, yeah. yeah, don't Shout steal, out. don't steal Sean Kemp's cell phone. That's no, the- dude, don't don't steal his cell phone and drive to a mall because he'll track your ass down like he's gonna track down a, a block in the NBA, dude. That's crazy. He's fifty three years yeah. old. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. He owns weed stores. He's out here shooting people, stealing his iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah don't fuck with the Rain Man, dude. Insane. You know, I bet. I bet. Uh, I bet. Jaw Wilkes Booth had him feeling pretty young. You know. <laughs> yeah. I bet he saw that. He's like, I still got it. <laughs> Just one more job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, he 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 went to because he lives up in like Seattle, which is like thirty miles south. So like, yeah, I, maybe all the kids he has are like making it to where he can't afford a new iPhone or something. <laughs> yeah, because he has like seven different. Same thing he does necessity. People were like, "Why is it, isn't he a millionaire?" I'm like, ah, I, I don't know anymore. I'm not so um, sure. Is like a thousand there. He's definitely point? a thousand there. I mean, he has more money than me, but you and, know what? And Kudos me. to him. Go get your fucking phone back. Dude. Yeah, he could have just called the police or. He could have made Wojnowski's Twitter, so that's a pretty good choice. <laughs> yeah, he's back, and and uh, people were like shitting on him, like it's a drive-by shooting or whatever. And yeah. then he like got a redemption arc. They were like, oh, he was just defending himself, so it's tight to shoot people yeah. in parking lots. He's like the Kyle Rittenhouse of the NBA. Like he he went there, but like technically, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> got away on a technicality, you know. Three minutes in, I already have a Kyle Rittenhouse <laughs> reference. <laughs> Literally took John Kemp is Kyle Rittenhouse, line. basically. Yeah, basically. Um, and Jaw isn't because he's not that hood like Kyle is. No. no, Ky- no. Kyle's real hood. Jaw ja, ja <laughs> got uh, ja got snitched on by the strip club. He did. I don't like that, actually. I, I don't, don't either. He's I just don't... trying to go indulge himself. I don't know. To... I, felt, I felt bad as soon as I started jerking off that video. <laughs> <you know? laughs> did you see the picture of, like, just... The, the entire floor, it was just like carpeted. Yeah, it was like it dollar was, bills. It was him shirtless in a in a club getting twerked on, and the whole floor was just a carpet of bills. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, at Shotgun Willie's, I actually went to Shotgun Willie's once. Uh, me and him did not have the same experience. What was your experience? I went in 2020, middle of COVID. Just real, real smart decision on my end, and uh, they were at capacity, <laughs> and they're like, you could stand in line and wait. No guarantees. We stood in line for an hour and a half. Ooh, didn't take him that long. No, no. But little did they know, jokes on them, I had $50,000 to spill, but they didn't want my money. Yeah, yeah. Money. And then you're like, do you not know who two casuals in a pod is? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to let us a shotgun Willis. We're also basically NBA players We have like 2,000 total views. Like, yeah, we, we, almost. We, yeah. Give, <laughs> give me the fucking red carpet treatment. Do they, do they know that nine people subscribe to us? Which, wait, wait which, nine? Nine. That's pretty sick, actually. It wasn't ten, though. Yeah. It wasn't ten. Get I will t- say, real quick, up top, the bet is still on. 100 subscribers. Yes. We are still 1v1ing in the gym. Yes. One, with 211. These, with these lapel mics on. Yes. I'm and gonna... shorts, 
I'm going to make fun of Luke's physical appearance the whole time. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of every, uh, basically every time I walk out of the house. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but we're going to 1v1, 1s and 2s to 11. Yeah. And I, we, we need to come up with something that the winner gets, like a bet. Yeah. Well, what's your, what's your, what, are you a shooter? Are you just, what do you, what's, your, what's your plan? Dude, I'm Because, totally like, I'm going to be honest, the spread's got to be, like, look, negative nine for me right now. Like, I'm going to win by, like, double digits. Are you favor? You're favoring I'm yourself? I'm favoring myself heavily. Is that even, that does not even work like that. The, fa- the fans favor I, <laughs> And the fans love what they're seeing here. They know I got a tight <laughs> shooting pocket. They know I got nice knees that, uh, <laughs> I don't have nice knees, but they see, they see you, got, you got some beef to you. You can back Dude, me my, down. My shooting sleeves are stretch marks. That's the you difference. Probably, you probably shoot like Draymond. Like you look like you have a backpack on. No, dude, I got. I promise you, I've been in the gym twice recently. Yeah, uh, which I'll take. I have a dude. I got a nice shooting pocket. I'm telling you, I catch this thing right here. Ball is under the hand. Yeah, just straight up push shot. Are you dirty? Are you a dirty player? No, I'm not dirty. I'm yeah. a good guy. You're kind of technical. I was. T- no, I never got. I never made the team. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Fuck you, Aaron. Anyway, <laughs> I, don't, I think you only brought that up because you want to talk about those threes you made that Oh, time. yeah. Well, I, that was on JV. Like, uh, Well, yeah. that's not how you leave the story usually, is it? Well, no, no. <laughs> but I was a total cuck. Like, you yeah. know, I swung. I sat the bench. It's all right. It's oh, fun. Sometimes how many threes did you make in a half? Seven. But we already talked about that in the first one. I know, but our fans want to know how they, good you are. Well, we're, we're, we're going to have literally thousands of new fans every episode. So it's like we got to keep refreshing their memory. I mean – how embarrassing is it going to be for you to get beat one on one by me on camera, dude? <laughs> I'll actually like hang, hang myself. Are That's you going okay. to post me up a lot? <laughs> no, I, I'll just I'll, I'll kind of want you to. I'll shoot only threes. Really? Yeah. As like a fuck you to me, or just yeah, like bo- kind of both. Okay, whatever. See, see how fucking cocky you get. <laughs> Anyways, one v one hundred subscribers. Please be the tenth subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> we're at ten. Only ninety away. away. Only ninety away. Uh, yeah. If no, we can make it more job rant references, though, we'll. If we just keep just being like almost kind of racist about John Morant, I'm sure we'll yeah. blow up immediately. Yeah, yeah. That was actually one of my feedback. People were like, "You're not being controversial enough." I was like. I'm I don't want to be racist. They're like, don't worry. Just say you have a black friend. And I'm like, that's actually true. I mean, being racist is hard for some people. Look at JJ Reddick on first take. (laughs) (laughs) Dude. He does not like Kendrick Perkins at all. No, dude. And I'm telling you, this is my theory. Yeah. I'm not a religious man, but I do kind of believe in like the parallel universe theory. You know? Yeah. I believe there's infinite. I believe there's a universe where you beat me one on one. I believe there's a universe where I make the basketball team. And my dad hugs me, and I believe there's a universe. Which is the best universe? The one I'm about to say. <laughs> yeah. There's a universe out there where J.J. Reddick and Kendrick Perkins are, are going at it on first take. And then J.J. Reddick, before the commercial break, just says it. Just calls him just the just hard R. Just says the hard R. Damn. And thankfully, we're just in the parallel universe where he was just thinking it, yeah. not actually saying it. Yeah. Um, but I feel like if you do believe in infinite universes, there's one where LeBron has six championships, JJ Reddick says the N word, and I made the basketball team. That's just the kind of theory I've been working on recently. <laughs> and your dad gives you well, a hug I've been too, for jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking for unemployment. I, dude, this is how you know you're a successful podcast. <clears throat> this is how you know you're, you're a successful podcast. When the first email, YouTube, second email, Spotify, third email, Walmart job application. That's how you know <laughs> you're you're killing well, you, it. You said you put your podcast experience on your resume. That's the only thing I put on my resume. <laughs> <laughs> this is all two episodes in. This is the only work experience I have. Hasn't said the hard R yet. Literally, yeah, I had to put yet. Uh, I literally <laughs> applied at Walmart at two casuals in a pod at gmail dot com for a part time cashier, and they didn't they didn't take they didn't accept me. So we still got to do this podcast. If you beat me one on one, they'll they'll be like, wow, this guy. Has I can a add lot, up to the this, resume. This guy has a lot of moxie. A lot of yeah, credit. yeah, like you know, I really want it. Um, what else has been happening in the NBA? Like, what have you been seeing going on? Uh, uh, Lakers are back in that sixth spot, right? They're not in the sixth spot yet. Oh, they're not? But they're one and a half games out of the sixth Aren't they, spot. But they're also like one and a half games of, of out of being out, right? They're, yeah, it's like six <laughs> through, yeah, it's hard. To, it's a lot to wrap around. Six through 13 in the NBA literally is like two games apart at most. Yeah. And five, the Lakers are like two games be- uh, behind from the five seed. Which they is won crazy. a couple games in a row though, right? That's we why. just beat the Raptors. Now, I didn't want to bring this up because I don't even want to look at the score, but right now we're playing the Knicks. The Knicks? We oh. played them at 9 o'clock. Last time I checked, we were losing. They're probably getting their shit rocked. 
I mean, the game would be over right now. It's like it would be over. I don't even want to look, to be honest. But we did just beat the Raptors, though. That's a good win. Um, who else did we beat? Uh, we beat the Mavericks uh, last week. Come back, came back from twenty-seven points. Kyrie was saying some stuff, right? What was he saying? He's always saying stuff, man. He, what do you well, mean? Well, I just saw he. Was, I saw tweets about him. I was like, wait, what's he talking about? He was talking about. I I don't know if it's the same thing you're talking about, but what I saw most recently, he was talking about how like he. He started like a like a Instagram live, I think, which is oh yeah, wasn't he like kind of rapping? Bad idea. He was like rapping about it, right? No, he, he was, was doing spoken word. He was just talking about like how he thinks like child slavery is messed up, which is like a bold take. You yeah, know? It's very, yeah. <laughs> one of his one of his better takes actually. Let's give him props yeah. at this point. Oh, yeah, if if, tra- That's sick. if Kyrie says something, at least he said child slavery is bad. That's a I, bonus. <laughs> I'm all for Kyrie, dude. Yeah, you're all for Kyrie. Yeah, dude, Ooh. child slavery is bad, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. There yeah. You go. That's he's he's got me he's got me back. Yeah, because you I... can't really be for Kyrie's views and also be in a comedy club. I feel like it kind of just counteracts each other. That's true. There's a lot of Jewish people. That are comedians. Yeah, that's a rough. That one. are better than us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Lakers. I really, I believe in the Lakers, dude. Can you imagine? Maybe for the first time ever, a playing team wins the championship. The Lakers have enough depth too. Yeah, but uh, dude, it's not happening. Why? Because the <laughs> just because just because <laughs> yeah. no, I hate the Lakers. That's why it's okay, all but, personal vendetta. Okay. But bias aside, I mean, it's not like the bias Nuggets aside, are going to the finals. The Nuggets are going to the finals. There's a fucking war on Jokic right now. Uh, <laughs> no, okay, who's in second in the West? Who's like who's like the, the Kings? Are the, the Kings? Are, okay. The Kings are the second. Seed. I don't think they're getting past the Kings. I think the Kings have like, but like thirty years of just pent up like fuck you to the Lakers. Dude, Anthony Davis owns DeMontis Sabonis. Are you kidding me? He did in the past. Dude. He also doesn't own a healthy body. He's going to be hurt. <laughs> You're right. He's, He's going to own that. It's on his closet. No. <laughs> that is tough. Dude, but the the Lakers, the Kings have are a fluke. Let's just be real. They're not a fluke. Like, yes, they're like, they don't have like blue they're, chip. They they're not as good as their record shows. I don't know, man. They've been like, the, since the All-Star break, they put up like 130 points a game. Like and they're, how, they're they're going. And Malik Monk is coming off the bench. Probably should win six man of the year. I don't know about that, but he's being he's playing sick right now. He's playing sick. I mean, but that you, you kind of said the problem though. They'll score at one thirty, but they'll give up like one thirty five. They'll score one seventy six, give up one seventy five. Honestly, as big as a fan I am of of Demontis Sabonis, you might not be able to win a championship with him as your center. Yeah, I mean, well, not that's not necessarily true. They just need like another guy. Like I don't think it's. I don't think De'Aaron Fox is the guy. But the problem is the defense, and he got hit on defense in Indiana because he had Miles Turner. But he's – I thought DeMontis was actually all right at D. Is he bad at he it? He was – oh, dude, he's bad at defense. Oh, really? Dude, you know how important center defense is. Yeah, it gets you first place in the West if yeah, you're decent at it. it. It also lets you uh, lose three games in a row <laughs> and take a nice little – No. The, all these fucking analysts saw Jokic was minus 350 to win the MVP, and they're going on a war – Kendrick, they're just they're literally just throwing shit on the wall and seeing what sticks, and they're having a yeah. bad stretch right now, and they're gonna pull out of it, and he's gonna win the MVP, and they're gonna, yeah, and everyone could shut the fuck up, like okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so you're you're really in this war? I'm I'm yeah. You got people saying he's stat bad. What do you say? You're like infantry or like medical? What do you I, think you I'm, are? I'm medical. I'm out here. Okay. I'm out so here. Like, I'm like, out here ref- so fixing really all these gashes. Anything. They're trying to. Put on my guy. He's just already bleeding out. He's not, he's not, he didn't even do anything. He's just like he's like neutral in the war. Like he was just chilling there, and they just started firing at him. He's if like, you ask me, being a fat, sloppy white boy is a crime. <laughs> yeah, they are <laughs> a crime against humanity. It should be a genocide. I mean, there is really a war. There's a the MVP race is a war right now, dude. <laughs> well, because people want Embiid so bad, and I love Embiid. Embiid's sick, but I mean. It's Jokic right now. But you can just admit this. It's not clear cut who the MVP is. It's it, uh, not anymore. Uh, it was like a and week ago. And that's what the war's about, baby. It's just getting whatever we murky. can take. Well, well what? Uh, he was, he's still a favorite, though. They want it, I think they want to give it to... I, I, I'd rather go to Giannis than uh, Embiid, to be honest. That's not. A, I mean, I don't think it's a bad take, but I mean, if you look at it right now, tonight the 76ers won. So they have the exact amount of wins as the first seed Nuggets, and they're the fourth seed in the East. Okay, that means something for sure. But also, something. Jokic has never had an All Star on his team. That is a good point. Yeah, that is, I don't and, and, which I think is bullshit. I think Aaron Gordon or Jamal Murray. But Mertz this year, you know, there's no All Star on the 76ers. You James know. Harden. He's not an All Star this year. He wasn't. No. Oh, but he, did. he is fourth in MVP voting. He's fourth in MVP. So he should have been. James Harden should have been an All Star. 
Dude, I like the role he's taken over this year, just like facilitator. Like insane. 12 assists a game. It's uh, pretty the, sick. The, I think he's the best passer in the league, dude, for real. If he's he just definitely. focuses on passing. Yeah. And he's fourth in the MVP race right now, which is hilarious. He's also a Hall of Fame, Strip Club Hall of Famer. But I mean, I would say like three through seven, though. Yeah. Nuggets are way better. I don't know. I just, they, they, uh, like they, they, MPJ versus Tobias Harris. That's I don't think people are sold on them being able to take over games like when it when shit's hitting the fan. And I I don't think I think people are underestimating Aaron Jokic's Gordon. ability to do that. He could take over a game. People are like, oh, he just kind of fucks around and he's just playing like pickup basketball. I'm like, no, this guy can he can go f- fuck around and get forty. I mean, they he did just lose the Spurs. That was a bad. And the game. Spurs did score nineteen field goals in the paint. Yeah, what That's is that? a lot. NBA Central. Who's who's making these tweets where they're like, hey, Jokic is a bitch, right? Like, <laughs> look at him being an asshole on defense for Literally, one game. It's like someone's first job ever. It's like <laughs> doing the MVP race. Find all the dirt. Dude, they're literally like coding. And like they're making... like, Jokic brothers are rapists. Like, they're going <laughs> to they're, they're like find like crazy like family That's ties. The next thing. Yeah. I mean, if anything, the Jokic brothers, John Moran, if he wants to be a real gangster, look at the Jokic brothers. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Fucking don't, like, Eastern Europeans are terrifying. They're cool. Yeah. They're really cool, but they're all yeah, terrifying. They're, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. We're cool. They're cool. They don't know the address of Louisville just, Comedy Club. No, no. I'm just a Western honky. Like, I'm yeah. soft as baby shit. Um, yeah, soft as baby shit. That's funny. Speaking of John Moran, uh, no. We're, we, I, think we've, I think we've sucked him off enough. I, I, I still, think every possible joke has been made. I, I still love Jaw. I don't care. I still am so excited to see and him And the play. fact that we both were at the same strip club, uh, at least property, that's cool. So I can Shotgun hang, I can Willies. Hang. Shotgun Ironic. <laughs> <laughs> A little ironic. It's funny, too, because it's like 30 minutes out of town. So, like, he got out of the game, and they were like, oh, let's road trip to like, the strip <laughs> oh, club. Oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Stay there all night. And give, yeah. Give me the gun. Yeah, yeah, we've said enough on Jaw. I think we have said enough. I think we're just gonna get shadow banned if we post any more clips about Jaw. Okay, I, uh, YouTube loves gun content. They're they love bad. gun content. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, we're trying to be two awkward white guys here doing their first <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Let's just like panically checking the notes. Yeah, what else we? T- <laughs> I mean, I know what to talk. I know what I can talk about. Oh, well, tell me about your Grace and Allen uh, uh, theory. I'm not ready? Fuck, I wasn't ready for that yet. You're oh, not ready. God. I wanted to talk about how bad the Warriors are, dude. They are seven. I think they're like tanking on purpose on the road. I think they're trying to freak people out. Why? I not like on purpose, purpose, but like there's no way they're going to be this bad on the road in the playoffs. Right I just, now, I just don't believe it. I said this last week, and it's still true. What the Warriors have the same amount of road wins as the Pistons, which is brutal. The Pistons are about to get Wimbledon, <laughs> and the Warriors are trying to get a championship. I didn't even realize Wiseman's on the Pistons now. He's actually playing pretty good. Was he just in the G League all the time and they picked him up? Or what happened? He he got traded to the Pistons uh, from the, the Warriors. On deadline? Yeah. That's crazy. They traded Sadiq Bay to the Hawks. It was like a three-team trade. That's when um, Gary Payton got traded to the Warriors again. Was there another player that they could have swooped up instead of that? Because the fact that the Warriors had the number two overall pick and they didn't get like a star out of it is crazy. Dude, I'm telling you. I full Whether it's true or not, I really think they could have got Bradley Beal. And then imagine you got... Steph, Beal, Clay, Draymond. That's that it. is a team. Okay, but that's like that's just unfair. It is unfair, and that's I mean, I mean they have fucking Kevin Durant. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. That's like well, that's a lot more unfair. I mean, they drafted pretty much that whole core. They did. I mean, it's still a super team though. Okay, but like this year though, they're seven. Yeah, they they're dog shit on their own. I don't get it. Dude. Jordan Poole is not great. Yeah, he's too focused on the thotties. Dude, yeah. He's just trying to get his dick sucked. Dude, when he has to play in, like, Indiana, there's no hot women. Yeah. <laughs> like, five turnovers a game, dude. He can't handle it. <laughs> he, he, he plays better when he's just, they're just massive titties on the yeah, sideline. Yeah, dude, like, he needs to go to, like, he needs to go to the same, he needs to go to Memphis, I think. I think yeah. that'd be a good career move for Jordan uh, Poole. Yeah, he's bad. Steph Curry is still playing MVP level, but. Well, he had that crazy game-winning shot against the Bucs the other night. Dude, yeah, he scored, like, like 16 in, like, in the last, like, Two minutes in overtime or whatever. That was I watched that game. You know who's good? Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez. Dude. Dude. Like where the hell is like insane. He's 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 like almost forty. Dude, he's coming off a of back surgery. He's thirty five years old and he's should be the front runner for defensive player of the year. Which is crazy because he was never defensive guy like out in Brooklyn. And he just had nine blocks, which yeah. is sick. He used I, to be like the guy out in Brooklyn. Like they're like, Can you all right, lead our team to like Get like twenty five points a game or whatever. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's getting twenty five as a post player. But I know, I know what you mean. It's crazy because 
I mean, you know, Robin and Lopez, right? Yeah. I love them, dude. Dude, you know they're like weird Disney people? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dude, literally all the clips I see of Robin Lopez and Brooke Lopez, they just go every office and they just live at Disney World. Yeah. Like, yeah. imagine being locked up by two Disney adults on the court, you know? <laughs> Like, that is a disgusting thought. He's, like, looking for, like, hidden Mickeys on the backboard. Like, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if they do, like, Mickey accent as they're, like, talking shit, like, oh, shot, you good? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like, oh, here's a dude. I don't know. I'm, I, can't, I can't trash talk. But <laughs> <laughs> I've never trash talked once in my entire life. You bet that once we hit 100, uh, once we hit 100 subscribers, you better get fucking I do. At my first bucket, I'm, I think I'll learn. Yeah. I think in that moment, I'll have, like, my first testosterone, and I'll just be, like, Fuck you, Aaron. The <laughs> podcast is done. I started it just to fucking just to beat you in basketball. What? Uh, how about this? Our prize is a uh, like some sort of Mickey Mouse like bullshit. Like actually, that's a terrible prize. No, yeah, that's like the that's the 2020 uh, championship prize. Too, no, yeah. actually, <laughs> which is yeah, not kind of not that much. No, no. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, Brooke Lopez, in my opinion, is Defensive Player of the Year, which is um, crazy. Crazy. Yeah, thirty-five. Who else would? Well, who else would win? Deploy. Uh, uh, Jaron Jackson Jared, Jr. Yeah, Jay, Jay. He was the front runner, but I don't. I mean, he, he fouls out a lot. People, I mean, people. There's a war on the Grizzlies. People don't like the Grizzlies. There's a war on the Grizzlies, dude. They, I think that they should ally Jokic, a little like Eastern European powers. Yeah. You know, bring back Yugoslavia. Just <laughs> yeah. the Grizzlies plus Memphis. They have enough guns that I think well, to bring it back. What teams do people like? Like people like the Knicks right now. People like the Knicks. People, people like the. I think people like teams that have been shit for a while. The they're like now good. The Kings. They're like Kings, Knicks. Um. I mean, no one hates the Bucks. I mean, you, you hate Grayson Allen, which yeah, I think Grayson I'm ready Allen. now. Yeah, okay. Let, let's hear your theory on Grayson Allen. My theory is maybe, I mean, you think of Grayson, man, or Grayson Allen as a very dubious man of character, right? Character, all character. I see Grayson Allen as somebody who, just like some friends I know, has a <laughs> humiliation fetish. <laughs> yeah. He just loves being cucked. I think that he likes. I think it's turned on by how much hatred comes towards him, dude. Well, yeah. Like you see, you don't see your name in the tabloids that often, and you're like, I'm not gonna change anything. Like, dude, he doesn't watch porn. He watches clips of like him getting like bashed on first take. That's what he watches. <laughs> and he's like, Yes, Kendra, keep laying it on. Yeah, crazy white boy. Yeah. And he's just like, he has oh, like yes. he has like a, a vibrating butt plug. Every time he injures a player, it just goes off, just like at full maximum Get- strength. Gason Allen. Gason, yeah, there we go. <laughs> now we, we just, dude, we we're did such it. good joke writers. It's insane. It's insane. Gason Allen. I mean, I didn't think of it. <laughs> you didn't either. But yeah, but yeah, I, I can see that. I mean, like Dylan Brooks, I feel like is the same complex too, where like they're just like, oh, like it's, it's like it's, it's like, like no pr- all press is good press, you know? Like, yeah, I'm gonna keep tripping guys. Like, I'm gonna keep kicking yeah. guys in the dick. Like, like I'm gonna I- keep. It's the only way I can get hard at this point. I mean, <laughs> I'm on the road constantly. I don't have a woman. Do you think gotta... it's like? Do you think like Grace Allen like seeing just like BDSM like embarrassed in bed too by like women and shit? Yeah, he's just like you know what really gets him off? Uh, Jokic defensive lowlights. Oh wait, that's me actually. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What did Jokic do to you? I I mean, look, man, you said he you should call... be inspiring to you. You fat white guys are changing the NBA right now. Okay. All right. Well, this is the thing. You called it a war, so we got to pick sides, and it's not like we're sitting you're, beside each that's other. That's true. That's true. We There's gotta, a line right here. Uh, also, you're a Lakers fan, so there, uh, um, there's just always a war. There is a, and pe- the Lakers are way overhated. I mean, I would pick and beat for MVP, dude. I, uh, you know what? I, I, fuck. Not even showing you for the podcast. I really would pick and beat. And beat's good. He is. And it's like Jokic's playmaking is obviously way better. But I, I kind of just wish he didn't win the MVP last year because like people wouldn't be pissed if he won it again this year. I mean, he won it as a sixth seed. Yeah. So now people people just pull out all the stops now to why he shouldn't win it this year because they gave it to him on a sixth seed. So Same. I think people are saying like, well, when, when's didn't matter last year? Give it to him, B. Yeah. Because they obviously didn't because he got it on a sixth seed. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Man. It is crazy how he's averaging a triple double now. And that's just like no one cares though. Yeah. They're like, oh, he's doing it boring. Mr. Like, Westbrook ruined it. But he can't jump. Yeah. This is Luca's gonna probably average a triple double next year. Yeah, I can see that. Um, he, was, he was the favorite to win MVP. I mean, he had a sixty and twenty game this year. <laughs> so that is insane. And ten assists. Yeah, and his mom's a ten too. She's yeah, hot. Yeah, um, she's a triple double. Her. Yeah, she. Can, <laughs> yeah, she could triple these doubles. I'm talking about my balls. She, yeah, well, I, I thought like, it was. I would like to have sex with Luca's mom. That'd be cool. <laughs>
I didn't know where to go from there. I just want to clip that silence. <laughs> All right, next topic. We talk about the words. We're not cutting that. No, we're not cutting that. That was odd. That was comedic genius by two, <laughs> by two, by a sexually tension green yeah, room. Yeah, thirty minutes total of, of stand up comedy right now. I know we've talked about our favorite boys so much. We're getting a little horny in here. You yeah. Know? Last time we had Baywatch on. We're not. We're not getting the same oh, stimulus. Oh, dude, Hasselhoff was getting me off. I'll that was. Like, I'll yeah, tell you. I can what. do that. Oh, Myers, Myers, Myers Leonard's back. Dude, Myers Leonard's back in the NBA. Yes, yes. Our, yes. Not our boy. I shouldn't say our boy. Well, <laughs> little... I mean, under, not my boy, but understandable. We've all played video games as a fucking... As a white man. As a, as a you know. Duty. Yeah, you just fire off With some... limited break. vocabulary. Yeah. Kendrick Perkins on the other line. You know what's crazy, though, is he actually is good. He's on the Bucks. He's actually good for the Bucks. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's coming hit like a few threes as like a stretch he's big man. He's athletic as shit, and he, uh, yeah, he can hit stretch threes. Like, he's great. I actually saw him play uh, AAU basketball. Um, I was at a tournament myself. He honestly probably should have been better, but this is why I wrote it down. Because he had a funny quote after a game yeah. that I wrote down. Um, after, after a win, I think he had a few points, he said um, in a quote to an interview, he said, you never know what's going to come out of me. To be honest with you. Wait, that's what Myers Leonard said? <laughs> he said that to an interview. Like order. recently? Yes, it was like a recent quote. <laughs> and they're, then, like, they're like, what's it like being back in the NBA? You, you never know what I'm going to say. <laughs> you never know, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth. You. It's like, they're just jokes, guys. That's why he's like doing that like to the camera. It's like, they're just jokes. It's lighten up, everybody. It's, you can't even say anything anymore in this climate. <laughs> what did he say again? He said the bad word for Jewish people. Oh, which to me okay. is just Jewish. No, that, I'm sorry. The one that rhymes with, <laughs> the one that rhymes with dyke? Yes. Oh, wait, we're probably not allowed to say that That's either. also a slur. Oh, it's not shit. You can't say a slur by saying a slur that rhymes with it. That's not, <laughs> that's not how it works. You can't be like, oh, did he call him bigger? Oh, I see. <laughs> no, it's not the same equivalent of a slur, basically. Um, Bucks are actually the number one seed now. But yeah, they they didn't win of all the they, sorry they didn't lose a game in February. The March Madness tournament's happening right oh, now. Oh yeah, that's right. Kentucky, where we're at, number six seed. Well, um, oh, they, the, today was Selection Sunday. Today was Selection Sunday. Yeah, Kentucky got a six seed. Damn, they're a little high because we lost we lost in the first round to Vanderbilt. Uh, yeah, that's not good in the SEC tournament. Pretty brutal. Do they have any NBA uh, prospects this year? Case and Wallace is going to be a lottery pick really? on the Kentucky. Yeah, Sweet Sixteen and Elite Eight is uh is right across the street at the Yum Center this year. Really? Yeah, I kind of want I kind of want to I kind of want to go. That's tempting. It yeah. depends who's in it, how much I want to do it. I mean, dude, college is just so different from the NBA. Yeah. Like, it's just like <clears throat> there's no one – like, no one complains in college because, like, I guess they just don't, like, feel like they're, like, they're, like, allowed to. Well, there's just also just so much more pressure to make a shot. Like, like if you watch the NBA, like, they're so loosey-goosey about just getting open threes and they don't miss. Like, in college, yeah. like, like, I mean, it's reflecting the score. Some, like, teams will win, like – by like uh, win a game by like, scoring only like fifty points, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's just so it's just so much pressure. It is pressure. like more meaningful basketball. Yeah. Which is kind of like why people probably like it more because like there's a lot a ton of people like college basketball more. They're like oh NBA is just like like who's sloppy. watching like Pistons Pacers on like a, a Sunday at two o'clock? But like those guys are also just they just don't miss. That's why like people are, like they're not trying on defense. I'm like they're not they're not trying. They're just they, they just know that they they have to take breaks because guys just make every shot. Yeah. He's like, hopefully they miss. I'm gonna grab a rebound after this. Yeah. Um, College, they have to like whip it around and like the defense. Is that's nuts. crazy with all the NBA stuff. A player from Alabama just got indicted for capital murder. Uh, like real. Like the. Or are you talking about the guy who shot his girlfriend? Yeah, dude. It, it's crazy how Woj has gone from tweeting like player moves to like prison sentences. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. that is that's a lot to to transition from. Woj is just like an actual like news anchor, like just breaking like crimes <laughs> yeah. out. He's like a 24-hour news cycle just <laughs> outside the Grizzlies are just on fire. Dude, I'm trying to see a there, I'm, uh, there needs to be another high speed chase in pro sports. And I think someone was the last one. Right, OJ? Yeah, that was that that interrupted the finals. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. Also, the finals were like taped like backwards tape back then. Like it wasn't live. Yeah. Like Oh yeah, they were like taped before. Yeah. They? Yeah. I also like edited in. How how annoying would that be? That would be dude. If if it was the Lakers, I would be losing my mind. I'd be like, I'm glad OJ murdered that one. You got to see all the, you got to see all the tweets of like what happened in the game and you're like, oh fuck. Like Yeah. I don't even do if they interrupted even if the president was like, I don't even know. Whatever the biggest world event is, don't interrupt me watching LeBron. No. I'm trying to finish, right? So <laughs> he's trying to finish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> even if aliens come down and make contact, I don't. My one thing about LeBron, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, uh, in the 2016 finals, um, at the end, after that Kyrie three, after the LeBron block, 
he had a play where he went down the lane and almost dunked on Draymond Green. Yeah. And it went out and he got fouled. Yeah. Um, he got fouled hard. He got like, I think he I uh, missed the first free throw. Yeah. Dude, literally every day of my life I wake up and I just wish <laughs> he made that dunk. You know? Yeah. I don't even shower. I just go, I just if I had a time machine, that's the only thing I would change is that LeBron dunk. Everything else in history works. Dude, if they weren't wearing those stupid t shirt jerseys, he probably would have made it. <laughs> they literally had like a they were t shirts. <laughs> they didn't have t shirts on. Like, it was what weird. The hell is this? It was kind of a cool look though. My brother had the Jamal Crawford one. It was sick. Oh, that is sick. The clip the Clippers one. But yeah, I wish I mean I hope we get a, a playoff like 2016 this year. That'd be sick. I don't. I mean, there's no like blue chip teams like that though. It's all it's it like five seven yeah. different teams can win the title, which I actually think is a good thing. That is a good thing, and we're only like two weeks from the playoffs right now. So it's like April, like something early April. Yeah, we're wrapping up March right now, so we got a lot coming up actually. Oh, <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot, man, dude. I mean, we're gonna see who Jokic truly really is. We're gonna see if the Lakers are fronts or not. I'm personally, still, I'm still gonna stand on Jokic no matter what, even if he gets balanced in the front. You know what's crazy? First round. We're we're two and one versus the Nuggets this year. The Lakers are. And the one loss was no LeBron. So I don't know if you want the Lakers getting that eighth seed versus the Nuggets, dude. I Did mean, you see that panel where like Vince Carter, uh, like who else was on? Like Kendrick Perkins, Tracy McGrady. They were all like, "Yeah, we're, raise your hand if you think the Lakers could beat the Nuggets," and yeah. like they all just shout. Oh, yeah, well, they don't give a fuck about the Nuggets. No, dude. nobody does. I mean, who does, I mean, who wants to watch Aaron Gordon? I mean, come on, dude. He, what are you talking? Aaron Gordon is sick. He, he, he had the best. He had the best. He had the best dunk contest ever. Who wants to watch Contavious Caldwell Pope? That's a better <laughs> example. An ex Laker would want to. You, you guys could oh. use him. Oh. So yeah, I think we've added KCP. That's like a guaranteed championship. Yeah, that's a lot. I, 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 I had that on guarantee. Nah, that was actually close. one of LeBron's decent moves. He's a terrible GM. But getting KCP, solid, he did. He, did, he did put in some work there. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Do you remember when they signed KCP and uh, Polinka was like, he's basically the second coming of Jesus. Do you remember? No, do you remember that? I remember him on the Pistons, but I don't remember no, that. It was the weirdest like press conference. They were basically like. Is by the word and the glory of God that we Whoa. got KCP. Dude, Palinka's <laughs> freaky, dude. Gen- him and Genie Bus are some weird stuff. Palinka looks like Rob Lowe, dude. It, yeah, that's what he's doing his like Parks and Rec, like the <laughs> yeah. outtakes in the back, dude. It's like we had, the Lakers had Brooke Lopez the year before LeBron came, and we let him walk, and the Bucks signed him for like four million dollars. The amount of useful players the Lakers have had in the last you could build 10 like, years is, is, is pretty hilarious. The amount of players the Lakers have wasted, you could build the two expansion teams with. That's how bad we've done <laughs> in the last two years. You could make two new teams from all the great players we've drafted and traded away. Yeah, Bubble title, though. But, okay, well, you can just say title next time. But, oh, but Mickey Mouse title. Okay, well, you uh, well, just, uh, yeah. it, was a, it, it was 100% legit, though. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I don't, I it's actually a bummer that the Lopez teams weren't on that team. Let's let's end the episode like this. Let's see. <coughs> Could have used that title in the, in Disney World. Lakers, Knicks. Yeah. Oh, damn. Four point loss. Wow. Lakers now fall to thirty three and thirty five. We were so close to five hundred. Getting what, are, what is wrong with them? I'm actually stoked. Lakers are losing. Choking it. It's fucking sick, dude. Damn. King Julius got our ass, dude. That's all I can say. I mean, we need LeBron back. He just got off his walking boot. Yeah. Um, he just he, LeBron just stole some content recently, actually. Doing what? He posted a video on his Instagram of like uh, a bunch of like like this huge goat in the mountain, and he was like rehabbing up here, just saw like, this goat or whatever. He, whatever his dumbass caption said. What? But he posted this picture of a goat on a mountain, and he made it seem like he was rehabbing like on top of like a mountain, and he was like actually there. But it was actually like a clip from like a YouTube short from like three days ago. It's like some like random goat. But he posted it like he was like actually there, he like just, in the first place. He person. took someone's wow. That's, yeah, dude. that's really bizarre. Like in, uh, over did he there. get? Did he get? Did he get dunked on for 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 tweeting that? I don't that? think anyone. I don't think anyone that's figured it out. You, if you're not rich and cool and famous, you can do whatever you want. Just steal content. I don't think you can do anything you want. Well, I guess look at Carl Malone. Yeah, you could you could bang a thirteen year old. <laughs> yeah, still get invited to judge the dunk contest. Dude, I mean, where all the kids are, <laughs> they just gathered in one city for Carl Malone. Good, good one, Adam Silver. That's a real good one. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsor us. And it's because you know Adam Silver knows. Oh yeah. Yeah, Adam Silver probably is like the ringleader. Like, oh my! Whoa, that's now that's a big theory. Okay, that's a that's, that's, a, that's a take. That, that's that just gonna, got heavy. No, 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 no. I look, I look just <laughs> the like ringleader. I actually look just like Adam as you Silver. reveal your skinhead real quick. You're like who on the podcast is really a fan? 
<laughs> Adam, I love you. Got your hair cut and everything. Yeah, you got the same. You guys are both uh, opposing thumbs, <laughs> which is cool. <laughs> of, uh, of a nice NBA player. No, Adam does look like a rep, actual reptile, though. He's terrifying. Yeah. Um, huh, I wonder what makes you say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's, let's let's end on this. Uh, we're classy here. We're fun. Yeah, what NBA yeah. player represents your penis? Uh, represents my penis? Yes. Uh, he's. Uh, I'll say Luke Rittenauer. Well, he doesn't play anymore, but he he was a white guy who was about six foot two. Okay. I, I feel like we have similar penises. Yeah. Oh no, I mean like play style. Oh, play not style? like who you think has your same penis. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're like LeBron. <laughs> wait, wait, like, like who, how, who plays like my penis? Yeah. Oh. Um, I mean, this is genius. Don't mess this up. No, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll say Brook Lopez. Okay, why? Because he's uh, he plays he plays very long, but he's like he like he's, he's out he stays on the outside though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He stretches the floor. Stretches the floor. You know okay. Yeah, and he loves Disney. So you really hyped your, you really hyped yourself up there. Yeah, my yeah, I like Disney and Okay. I, like I would Disney. say my penis is like drama rant cuz we're tired of seeing it. <laughs> Thank you so much, oh. folks. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was not planned, but uh, anyway, two casuals in a pod. We'll two be, we'll casuals be, in a pod. We'll be back the NBA. Hopefully more crazy shit happens. Subscribe, uh, call us. We don't have a phone number yet, but uh we love yes. you. We love you. We'll say yes. more ignorant shit if you want it. Comment. We don't have a phone number, but we do have an email. Two casuals in a pod at gmail.com. As in the number two, right? On the screen. Oh, it's on the screen right now. Oh, actually. shit. It's on the screen. You idiot. Can you not see it? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I'm, it's on the screen. I'm retarded. Uh, yeah. Um, well, way to ruin our promo with the fucking R word. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still posting it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell. We're Fortnite YouTubers now. That's right. Um, but this real, is not getting monetized. Please whatsoever. follow because this is all we have. Uh, we're really breaking down at the end here, if I'm being honest. Good night. Thank you so much for <laughs> the time.